Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, how do you do? Welcome to today's edition of Programming with us. For today, uh, we're going to look at a list box in C Sharp, SP.NET, okay? SP.NET web forms. We're going to see how to add, update, delete, and clear items to and from list box. We're not using any database. Uh, we just want to show you how you can get started with the list box. Okay, we shall be adding data at runtime. Now this is what you're going to see. For instance, if I come right here and type things like these ones, you can see if I click add, uh, you can see that we are adding our data uh, to our list box. Okay, so this is what you're going to see. Adding, updating, uh, deleting, and of course uh, clearing data to our list box. Now, what about if I want to update, for example, if I click the first one, I want to update it with something like this one. Then if I click update, it gets updated. Okay, you can see uh, it gets updated. If I want to update this one, like I come here, I want to update it with this CC, I can update it. Okay, and then if I click this one, delete, the items get deleted. Now take note that uh, you are seeing this thing refreshing because in SP web forms, normally the controls get executed at the server. Okay, so when you click the button, the thing gets uh, executed at the server and then it tra transfers us uh, HTML content, which is uh, gets displayed uh, inside our browser. So that's why you are seeing for every uh, button click, we have to. Uh, the web page has to refresh. Now if I click clear the item shall get the list box gets cleared this is what we're going to see guys welcome we we'll get started the first step is to create your project now for me uh, choose okay choose visual c sharp okay then come and choose sp.net web forms then of course uh, type the name for your site then click ok once you've done so it shall generate for you an application with the template uh, this template right here okay no, our main purpose is not exactly to uh, deal with these other stuff. Today, our main purpose is to deal with our list box and how to add other items. So, you can delete some of the contents. You can just select, like for instance, if it is this one, just select and then click delete. So, delete your items and then come to your toolbox and then right here, uh, just add a list box. Add a list box, then add these specific buttons and then finally add the text box where is it text box you add it right here you can see mine i've already designed uh, my stuff right here this is what we're going to do so now i just double click your first add button so that we go and handle uh, those particular events add update delete and lastly clear if we start with the clear clearing is very simple uh, we're just going to say uh, list box one dot items uh, dot clear. We just call it clear method. That's enough uh, to clear for us. And of course, we shall just want to uh, also just clear our text box uh, so as that we can show the user that we've already cleared. Now, uh, after clearing, I prefer that we come and start with the adding. No adding is just also almost the same. List box one dot items. Then we call add. Now take note that there is there is also the add range uh, method. Okay, there is also the add range method. With the add range method, you add items from an array, a range of items. Okay, many values at the same time. As we shall be adding value or. Uh, data by data one by one because they shall be uh, entered at runtime so that one and then here we just pass whatever the user shall have typed uh, dot text and that's it then uh, we just clear our text box now that is for adding now for updating uh, we're going to go through three steps first we shall get the position of the item to be updated in the list view secondly we're going to remove that item that particular index then thirdly we're going to insert a new item and that particular index so first of course is to uh, get position now that position we shall store it inside an integer int pos equal to a list box one 
dot selected index they shall give us the position of the item then we're going to remove the item at that particular position so we shall say list box one dot items uh, we shall call a remove at method then we simply pass the position of the item uh, so that the item gets removed that's it now once we've done so uh, the next thing that we're going to do uh, we're going to insert a new item uh, at that particular position so this box one dot items uh, we shall call insert the insert shall request to pass first the index of the item and then that is the position in which it should be inserted and then after that one the item uh, object that should be inserted for us is just a string it's what we're going to insert right there then obviously uh, we shall just also clear uh, the text box because we've already uh, updated what about deleting actually deleting we just copy paste this one uh, take note that you can use two methods either for removing you can use remove it, which will pass the position of the item to be removed uh, also or remove where you pass the object to be removed to me i think remove it is better because if, of course if you are finding the index it's going to be faster than if we are searching for the object itself okay here we just point at the index and then we remove it so that's it guys in fact that's it is just that simple let's run our project uh, let's start it with my firefox right here so that we see and yes here is our project if we come start adding come right here click add uh, the item gets added you can see the our items are getting added now i come maybe add the last one right there it gets uh, added what about updating i come right here let's see that i want to update it with this one then i click update the item gets updated okay so this is how we update uh, our items i click update it gets updated if i want to delete i just select the item to delete then click delete it gets deleted if i want to remove everything i just click clear and everything gets cleared guys that's it such a simple tutorial hope you've enjoyed the tutorial please if you have let me know uh, by liking this video by commenting down below by sharing it with friends and family and please take care. I'll catch you in the next tutorial.